I received some advice from a teacher when I was about 22 years old. And uh, he was a respected artist, and he was my teacher. And I was having a problem with painting. I couldn't figure it out. And I'd, I'd never had this problem before. I would always figure it out, the problem. But this one wasn't working. And I spent months, and it, it's just, uh, I was getting worried. Because <laughs> uh, I'd never had this problem before. Um, and being young, not having as much experience, I didn't realize that this does come up. You can't solve every problem. But, but to give the uh, shorter version, so he told me this when I was 22. I mean, his answer, his advice to me was, at the time, <coughs> he said, he saw me sitting and staring at his painting for, for months. And then his answer was, he just yelled from across the hallway, and he just said, write on it. But it took me, like, you know, whatever that is, 22 to 35, to realize, yes, just write on it. But there's a, there's a really interesting uh, uh, artist. Uh, he's a playwright. Um, what's his name? Tom, Thomas Bernhard. I don't know if you know his work. And, you know, at the end, I think it's the Lime Pit is the name of the novel. I think that's the English name here. But at the end of this novel, he said, and I forget the name of the character he's referring to, but the character has a uh, writer's block. And he said the problem with this character is that he couldn't simply open up the top of his head and pour his thoughts out on the paper. And then that's the end of the novel. So I think that, you know, um, I, I, you know, just like my reference to ignorance before, I guess if I had one thing to say to artists is to be patient and, um, and to enter the ignorance of what you think you know. And if you don't get the answer that you're expecting, maybe that's a good thing. Um, knowing what you're doing is overrated. <laughs>